I had a thought the other day. And you know how Jesus tells the story of the tax collector that was in the synagogue and he was beating his chest and saying, Oh God, forgive me a sinner. And he was too ashamed to even raise his hand, eyes up before God, you know? And then the, he said that there was a Pharisee who was praying. Well, this is the prayer they said. Um, thank you, God, for not making me a dog or a woman. You know, that you, whatever. These are the prayers that the Pharisees prayed, right? And Jesus tells the story that of the two of them, the tax collector went away forgiven. Right? No, the tax collector, because he was humble before God and admitted his sinfulness. Jesus said he was forgiven, but not the Pharisee. Right? In the parable. So what I thought was Matthew was the tax collector, right? Right. And I thought, oh my gosh. That's why he chose Matthew as the tax collector. Jesus saw him in the temple. Beating his chest and praying, God forgive me for being the sinner. And the reason that I think that is because, do you remember Zacchaeus, the little guy who hid up in the tree? Yeah. And Jesus knew he was up in that tree? And he also told Andrew that he saw him sitting under the tree, but he was nowhere near where that happened. So Jesus could see what people were doing without physically being there. And he told stories that had to do with real people, what had happened with real people in his life, right? right? I think that he saw Matthew in the temple as the tax collector in that parable, and that's why he chose him as a disciple. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. And even the disciples were like, how could you choose him? You know, the, the other ones, they, he's detestable. He's a, he's a tax collector.